Hey Aquarius, how's it going? Welcome back. And for those of you that are new, I'm so grateful you're here. My name is Sam. We are going to do your July 2024 reading. So do take what resonates. Never force anything to fit. I am going to make it as personal as possible. I'm going to pull from multiple decks. So do stick around to the end. I'm going to do the love part at the end. Um, but take what resonates and then always head over and watch your rising, your moon. And your Venus placement sign readings for additional clarity. Let me get the one that fell on the floor. Guys, as promised, I'm announcing that I'm giving away one free personal reading for the month of July. Um, for those of you that are always returning to my readings, and I'm so grateful for that. It's usually two or more that I give away, but I'm going on vacation this month. So I'm only giving away one. Um... The person that is chosen can tell me what they would like their reading to be in regards, be you know, centered around. All you need to do is become a subscriber to take part in the monthly giveaways. And then whatever you're feeling in this moment, leave that emoji down below in the comment section. At the end of the month, I will randomly choose the, the person to win the reading. But I do this each and every month. So very last weekend of every month, I will always remind you to check your notifications because someone will be hearing from me. The one that fell on the floor was Dear Spirit, 18. Bring a gentle touch. Definitely pay attention to feathers in the month of July. But I feel something that you're beginning and taking a leap of faith towards. And it requires an innocent mind and a gentle touch. And it's divinely guided. All right, so we have Dear Spirit and Koala Spirit. So we have within numbers, 8 with 35 here, Koala Spirit, and then 9 with 18. 8 and 1 is 9. Increasing energies, so you're increasing your vibration, um, your energy level throughout the month of July. But Spirit is bringing in this beginning for you. Like I said, I'm getting like innocent mind, leap of faith, uh, beginner's mind, gentle touch. And then look at this. The tough cycles are over. Rhino spirit. And look at how pretty this rhino is. Another, um, another reading got this. That's why I always say to see the synchronicities within your chart placement readings. This rhino, the crown is on her horn so but she's wrinkled so it's definitely been quite the struggle for her it's been, definitely been a process but look at all the flowers that are around her coming in noticed coming in beautiful illuminated there's a blessing that's coming through the certain obstacles that you've been through. All right, Aquarius, let's get it. The tarot part of the love, I'm gonna do at the end, but we're gonna pull some oracle cards for love. Unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So if you're dealing with someone and every day you put your best self into this connection, you reach out to them, you text them good morning, I'm thinking about you, good night. But all day you didn't receive a response. There's a reason for that. It takes a second, literally a second, to respond to someone. If someone's telling you Monday through Friday, I am so burdened, I've got this going on, that going on, this going on, that going on, I've got to be there for work, I'll be there for... You're going to tell me they didn't have a second to sit on the toilet when they would normally play their game and not respond, I don't want to hear it. So if you're wondering, should you stay or should you go, or wondering where this, is, this connection is going because you feel an imbalance, there's a reason. Always pay attention to the actions. And then religious factors. Well... This could be one thing. I mean, this could be dealing with someone who has like a completely different spiritual background, maybe different religion. 
um, parents want them to marry within their, you know, I don't want to say race, within their culture, right? Um, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. All right, let's see what else we can get for my Aquarian spirit for the month of, yeah. I got to say, you're closing a chapter here. Here's the world. You're closing a chapter and you're embarking on something brand new. Something that's fair and balanced for you. For some of you, this could be purchasing a home, relocating, leaving a one job to start fresh at a brand, a brand new job. This could be um, you taking on a job that has you traveling. Traveling the world. I have to say, you might be in a connection with someone where they live in a different country. And for some of you, you're making that plan to visit them. Let's see. Could be, you could maybe even be traveling the world to visit your family or your, a friend. All right. We have Dragonfly. Have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal, and connection to spirit. Spirit is trying to connect with you. That is 3588. Synchronicity right there. So definitely pay attention to 88s eight or 88. Eight. Harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. Yeah, there's there's definitely a brand new door opening for you for my Aquarians. I got to say, for some of you, it may be travel. The chariot and the world is definitely travel, maybe planning a trip. That's why I said relocating or traveling for work. It's also the journey within yourself of moving forward. The emperor... The nine of coins, yes. You're taking back action. You're taking back, not action, you're taking back control of your life. You're taking back your power and you're making a fierce, bold move. Look at this. Two different decks, two different authors. You are definitely vibing in the best energy possible. Remember I said the increasing energy, the synchronicity of rising above? It's definitely showing within these cards. Oh, look at this. The Emperor and the Empress. I feel for some of you, you're caught up in that energy of a twin flame, the runner and the chaser. Here the lion is roaring and she's like, mm, not today. Not dealing with it. Moving on. You had your chance. Oh, good. I'm glad you're showing up in your best energy, but not today. I have to say, though, the world, I'm, I'm just the, right here. I feel a new chapter beginning for those of you that are experiencing a twin flame connection. I feel where one of you was giving more than the other, which is that runner-chaser effect, it may have seemed unrequited. But you're not done with one another. You're just getting started. And for those of you that are experiencing, experience a, two tr a true twin flame connection, you know you got to run its course before you peak the mountain together. I really feel for right now, those of you dealing with a very strong soul bond, you're not in union right now. You're focused on yourselves individually. But there is 
a new chapter beginning. All right, spirit and religious factors is divine timing and a twin flame connection. All right, this is starting to make sense. All right, spirit, why the chariot and the emperor? The seven of swords. The distance between you and your soul bond right now is divinely guided. One of you is not vibing at your best energy. And it seems we're unrequited to the other. Why is the emperor and the empress here in Aquarius's reading? So both of you could think about your future. Think about what you want. What type of partner you want. Who you want to show up to be in each other's life. This is your soul's, your soul's desire is each other. And why is the nine of coins and the nine of wands here in Aquarius's July reading? The king of cups and the two of coins, a decision being made, wanting to balance the scales out. And it is happening in divine timing. The focus they want to be on you. This person, I feel, has definitely been through a journey and had to work through their emotional triggers. They weren't emotionally grounded at the time you were meeting them. And it's possible you were mirroring them because that is what a twin flame does. Similar experiences, similar, similar lessons. And it's possible you triggered this person in dealing with that. Because that's what a twin flame does. All right, spirit. This was not meant to be about love, but strongly it's coming through. So what else do you have for Aquarius in terms of love? All right, let's see. The Eight of Pentacles, which is very ironic because look at this. The Eight of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Very synchronistic. Page of Cups. The Devil. And the Four of Swords. Yeah, I really feel this person might have came towards you, seems manipulating, made you feel like an option and not a priority, making you the priority. Might have offered you something small. And it was really like their offer wasn't much to grow on. But it's within this energy, their devilish energy, their dark energy. Whatever that was, was an inner demon within themselves. Has got them thinking about you, their wish fulfillment. This is just a pause, just a break for them to figure them, their life out. Their, that mask that they're wearing, why are they wearing it? It's going to be different for each one of you, what your person has been through. And like I said, both of you might have met each other after experiencing heartbreak somewhere else in your life. But it's through overcoming this type of energy that leads you to each other as wish fulfillment. All right, Let's see what else we got for you, Aquarius. For my Aquarian spirit. Yep, this person is charting a plan. That raccoon is curious, is watching, being very creative about their approach. They're coming in very clever. We have a time frame. It says within 7 to 14 days, specifically July 22nd to August 21st. So I know that takes us to the later part of July into August, but we got that time frame and here's the world. Guys, even if you're at a distance from someone like different country, it does not matter. Spirit will align you with your soul's desires somehow, some way. But this is a brand new chapter beginning. That's why Spirit's coming saying, coming in saying you're both getting through the challenges. Now, once you approach one another, have that gentle energy to each other because it is divinely guided. 
All right. This is from your higher self. Give yourself some credit for doing a good job at this whole living thing. Seriously, life is not easy at times. Give yourself credit, Aquarius, for doing a good job at this whole living thing. Trust yourself always. Trust others once they've earned it. Yes. Find ways to lighten up and not take everything so seriously. All right. Guys, anytime you want me to tune into Just Your Energy, click on the link in the description box. It'll take you right over to my Etsy shop. Um, I'm offering a sale just throughout the first week of July for 4th of July, so you can take part on that if you would like to. So much love and light.